its fangs and Doobie. What? <laughs> We are beginning the vlog. I'm like what not is even up? awake right now. He's not awake. What time is it? We are way late. 9 it's 9.36 a.m. No, we're not that late. We said we would leave by 9, but we're just a little bit late. We are starting the journey to my mother's house. And guess what? It's snowing in Texas. That hey, is right. It's Snow blur flurries. It's blurry. It's blur it's blur it literally, blurry. like, you, you, you I can show you. It. Let's you show you. You can't see it. There's no, you can't see it. You just can't. So, yeah. It's, uh... It's little flurries, but we get pretty excited about that. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna be driving through hopefully a lot of snow. We'll see, not hopefully, what am I talking about? Not hopefully, but we probably will be driving through a lot of snow because we have to go through Oklahoma City. There's somebody pulled over here. I gotta show this. Hold on. 5 0. 5 0 ahead. It means they're not gonna pull us over. I don't know if you guys can see that. The 5 0. Okay, anyway. Um, There's that pop pop. It means they're not going to get us, which is good. That car has actually probably broken down. Now I feel yeah. bad. So we brought covers. Okay, when you're going on a road trip, you need to know this. You need to bring covers in case you break down. Have covers to cover yourself up, pillows to lay on. Although I don't know why you would be sleeping in this moment. You'd probably well, be you trying never to look. Know, These just, days, if you have a phone. If you're stuck there forever, though, if you're stuck there, you just take a little nap. Yeah, take a little nap. These days, you have a phone, so it's not as hardcore. But you still bring them anyway. We've got our ski jackets on. What is the temperature? Can we see it? I think it's like. 20 degrees or something like that, which for us, 23. remember whenever we said that 50 was freezing? Well, now I feel like I'm in Alaska, okay? So yeah, we're wearing ski jackets and hopefully we'll probably see a little bit of snow in Oklahoma because I haven't seen snow in, uh, since I went to Boston, I guess, a couple years ago and there was so much snow, it was ridiculous. Um, but yeah, we're tired. Doobie's not gonna conversate with you guys because he doesn't conversate until 10 a.m. so tired. We're about to Don't don't mess with me, woman. I will snatch that camera. <laughs> We're about to. I, for some reason, can just be really awake in the morning. There are some mornings. You're a morning person. Where I'm not, but the, it drives I, me crazy. Yeah, but I don't like waking up early to think. So how am I a morning person? It doesn't feel good to me. It makes my stomach hurt. I have a nauseated stomach when I wake up too early, like I do. You don't eat. Now we're gonna eat, and you'll be, you'll be right as rain. We're gonna go to Waterburger. We're gonna get ourselves some taquitos. If you're from Texas, represent the taquitos in the comments down below. And yeah, let's start this journey. Butter burger taquito. Beautiful. You gotta show. I can't. Oh, they can't tell. I'll show them the inside. It's like. Oh, it's mm, amazing. Focus is really bad. Egg and cheese. It doesn't look that great on the camera to be awesome, but it's tasty. He's got bacon. I'm just doing egg and cheese, and then you pour the picante on there. I usually have a problem with making this explode everywhere. See how hard it is to get to come out? That's why I squeeze it, and that's why it explodes everywhere. Because it takes a lot. How much it didn't explode, though. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, it's time for some breakfast. Mm. We now do be it's blurry. Focus on me. There we go. Um, my camera might go in and out of focus, and I might not be able to see because um, I don't know why. I think I can see now, guys. We are still in Texas. We're in Texas. It's been an hour. Texas is a big state, okay? You can drive quite a ways before you get out. You can out. drive 21 hours from one end to the other and still be in the same state. Yes. So we're still Without here. stopping. Without stopping. I'll try to show y'all the welcome to Oklahoma sign. I'll be ready for it. Don't worry, I'll be ready. I can't see because your big ass head is in the freaking way. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay. Um, so we stopped to get some snacks. Uh, we have some sandwiches, which this, I don't know, this for some reason sandwiches that are made up like this kind of disgust me, so. Unless they're in England. Yeah, but. I don't I, like any food barely in England, but I like their sandwiches that are like this. You like that bacon chicken sandwich, right? Yeah, they have this bacon chicken, I don't know what else is on there. Some bacon chicken sandwich that I love to get it's in the airport. Everything there just seems fresher. Yeah, it does seem more fresh. I feel like it's since it's a smaller country, like it's smaller than the size of Texas, that like everything is fresh that comes there. I don't know why. Uh, we got, is this yours? Cheddar Jalapeno Cheetos. I said get chips. Well, those were the least healthy chips, of course. That's my husband's. Yeah, why would um, Flavored onion rings, which are not as unhealthy. Let's see. We have 130. Did you tell your GPS to shut up? This car's not loud or anything. Okay. 130 calories from, uh, oh my god, okay, from 13 pieces. Yeah, and then suck on that. 21 pieces is 160 calories. All right, maybe they wow. are the same. Mine maybe is they, better than maybe yours. Maybe they're the same. Um, we have a Lunchable 14 G's of protein, 
And then we've got our, I know guys, we're not supposed to be doing it, but we have sugar for Red Bulls. Oh, God, we have to. I'm going to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> we have to stay away from this trip because for one, it's dangerous, and for two, it's just, it's not good to pull I feel away. the power! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna feel that here in a second too. But anyway, so I'll let you'll see. Nebraska Furniture Mart. Show them. Oh, are we ran by that again, guys? Remember when we took you to Nebraska Furniture Mart? We went and we tried to buy a couch there, but unfortunately they didn't have the couch we wanted, so we got it at a place called Bassett. It's like its own compound. It's crazy. I'm like screaming at the camera. It's because you guys don't notice this. There's a lot of in here. My car is super loud. I mean, it's loud. really loud. I'll have to edit that out. It's really loud in here. My car is super loud. He won't edit it out. He will be editing and totally be like trying to rush it, forget, and it's going to be a So, yeah. You know what? You can edit it yourself. You don't edit for this channel. This is our channel. But Doobie does the editing. So if anything goes wrong, blame Doobie. Yeah, look at that face. Look at that face. So mad. The uh, Red Bulls were so bad that I look like a clown right now, like an aviator. The Red Bulls were so bad and not cold that we are now at racetrack getting more Red Bulls. A requested aisle. I'm trying to book flights right now for Africa while doing all this. I probably should turn off the Justin Bieber jamming in the background. Copyright. What the heck, Jesse? By the way. You like that Fangs hoodie? You like that Fangs hoodie? Have a link in the description down below if you wanna purchase one. We need to get Fubi hoodies. We really do. We really do. All right, so because the guy took a little while to respond to us, we now have to fly South, South African Airways across the pond. So, oh my God, my voice. Ha <clears> ha, <throat> excuse me. We have to fly South African Airways all the way to Johannesburg in South Africa. So, never done them international. If you have, let me know. Let me know if they're good. Um, I get iffy with new airlines because, you know, flying that long, if something goes wrong, it's a little frustrating, but I think it'll be fine. Uh, just as long as it's not American because American decides to put you on planes where you happen to be flying and the TV breaks in the first hour and all it plays is two freaking things on the Disney Channel. That was terrible. That was on the way to London. All right, let me book these. $1,600 a ticket. Like, are you serious right now? Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm talking to the camera about how you went to get a better rental. Does it feel better? I don't know. I'm putting my nice for a second. Yeah, put mine in there too. We'll like, wait a second. I can't see all this. Who did it? Oh, you guys haven't even got to see our cooler setup. When we go long places, we freaking bring a cooler. Doobie's getting in there right now always smart to bring a cooler because then you don't have to stop you have all your waters see it's camo so you can't really see it put it right there oh yeah oh yeah did we put mine in there oh yeah snow 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 i don't think you can even see it uh, it, no, I don't even see there's it. flurries i don't know if you guys can see it's flurries flurry 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 yeah, flurry, what, flurry. Too, what? what? oh you can kind of see it on the side of the road it like busts up in the air whenever the cars drive by yeah i want a mid flurry you want a big flurry? He wants a big flurry. I would not want that. It'd be way too cold to have a big flurry right now. No, fuck that. And the you can have a big flurry and some french fries right now. What would you do? I would not do that. Yeah, you would. Yeah, I would. I'd dip my french fries in the big flurry. Exactly, because that would keep you warm, but you'd still get the chili nice. Whoa! Flurry. Did you see that guy just slam into the road? He was like pretty much going out of control. Oh, okay, this, yeah, the guy in front of us. Yeah, that's why you gotta be careful. Look at this guy. That's always dangerous to do. Who advertisement? That dude had no hands on the wheel. Can you really? I swear, I'm gonna rewind that. <laughs> Update. Five minutes later, it's getting more snowy. Snowy. You can see the snow on the side of the road. You might be able to see the flurries. Maybe. We're driving into a snow zone. Update. There's more snow. There's more snow. And these semis think that they can drive, or as you guys would call them, the lorry. The lorry in front of us. Now that's only the people in the UK. They think that they can just drive super freaking fast and pass each other when you can barely see in front of you. You can't barely see in front of you. Update. Update. More Lots snow. more snow. Hold on. Let me see if you guys can see the ground. It looks like we're driving over a doobie's fog machine. My low-lying fog machine. Kind of crazy. Thank God we're in the big yeet. We're in Black Betty. Oh, Black Betty. I guess you guys remember the 
the vlog from yesterday. Um, when you said what? When I said that we probably were not going to hit a snowstorm. I was wrong. <laughs> Very wrong. Although I think Doobie drove us into this on purpose. He avoided Oklahoma City just to drive into this. No, I avoided Oklahoma City because it already got this. I thought the roads, I thought there might be wrecks and stuff already. It's freaking Look at this guy. terrible. Look at this fucking guy. And this guy didn't even get like he's in his little car that's got bald wheels and he's just flying. That's the kind of people that he's, cause wrecks. He's probably, he probably has all wheel drive. It was a formatic Mercedes, so usually they have all wheel drive. You can barely see what's going on. I can see better in the camera what's going on than I can see with my own eyes. Really? That's pretty crazy, yeah. Really? That Jeep's been around us for a while. Woo! That Jeep won't leave us alone. Woo! This is, this Look at is this crazy. Cadillac. I know. That only has front wheel drive. They don't I care. I know that for a fact. They do not care. You guys aren't going to be able to see it very well. I'll try to zoom in. This Jeep in front of us is Rhino Lines in pink. Pink and black Rhino Line. It's the sexiest Jeep I have ever seen in my entire life. I am now jealous. If we Rhino Line mine, it's gonna be in pink. I'm zoomed in, so it's gonna be no, right in your focus. Yes. Oh yeah, then you can drive it that much, could you? Never mind. Oh wait, 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 here we go. It's slowing down. It's slowing down. Final line pink. Final line pink. Oh my god. Oh, it's going out of control. You might want to get. A, you might want to watch out for that thing. You might want to watch out for this truck car, right? Yeah. Um, because we're so scared because we've almost gotten a wreck twice now. I've missed the welcome to Oklahoma sign. I think. You think it's funny? It's not oh, funny. There's, there's no think about it. We definitely missed the scene. We had to put ourselves in four-wheel drive, but you know you're in Oklahoma when you see a casino. This is the Choctaw Casino right this there. This thing is huge! Super huge! Super cool! We don't have them in Texas. We're not allowed to gamble in Texas, so you gotta come all the way up to Oklahoma. They're hitting again. They're on the brakes. Oh my god. This is our problem. Willis just keeps going, and he's not noticing that there's lights, and that people are stopped. We are gonna get in a fight. We are gonna get in a fight. Soon enough. Who gonna win that fight? Me. Okay. gotta pee. I drank too much Red Bull. And we're gonna get some gas. We're, we're taking up some parking spots. Taking up parking spots, guys. I gotta go. Hold on a second. This is snow. Look at this. I'm gonna create a snowball. Kind of. A little, little mini snowball. Let me get a bigger one. A little mini snow. It won't stay together. Just wait for it. Wait for it. By the way, it looks just beautiful. Oh, you want to try? Oh, you want to try? <laughs> now you're not going to be able to see out of that. I probably should have vlogged my sheer terror, but we just went through the worst part and our windshield wipers are frozen. And we were using our windshield wipers. We don't know if we're supposed to use our windshield wipers. I have wipers. no idea. Um, in the snow, you can see that. Hold on. There's a huge thing of ice on our windshield wiper, which is terrifying. So I literally was holding on to this thing. I got my hand on it. And I was like peeking down and I was losing my shit. And Will thinks I should have recorded that reaction, but no. I felt like we were gonna die, so I was not gonna record that reaction. Oh my god, it's still bad. They say in 23 miles it'll hopefully stop snowing. <laughs> Purchase a Modella Chilada. I am not driving, by the way. I don't think I'm drinking and driving. I probably should have it anyway, because open containers are against the law. So I'm being a rebel right now, but I'm stressed out, okay? I am so stressed out right now. Hopefully this will calm me down. We just left the gas station and I really found a piece, so we'll go back in. Fourth again this year. Yeah. For the eighth time. No, it's not the eighth time, but you know what I mean. Every time, it's like every year. Fourth. That's our spot. We're still on the road. Um, we've got a ways to go. I think probably like two hours to go. We're in this little bitty uh, city. It's this little piece of, What do we call this city? Is this Muskogee? It might be. I'm proud to be we an Okie from Muskogee. Muskogee. So we're in Muskogee, Oklahoma. I think I could be completely wrong on that. But I'm pretty sure we are. We got a little Caesar's pizza, pizza, pizza. Um, pizza taco pizza. mayo. We just talked about that. There's oh, the taco, taco mayo. mayo. Taco, taco mayo. Taco mayo. Taco mayo. Taco mayo. A big cow. Or is that a bull? It's a bull. Sorry. <laughs> 
Oh my God, it's my grandpa. <laughs> we are nearly there guys. We're pulling into our last gas station, hopefully, because we're going on a turnpike and we have to be able to have cash to go on this turnpike. So we gotta get cash, which kind of stinks. I'll show you my grandpa again as we leave. What? My grandpa. Your grandpa? Yeah, over there. It's Grandpa Moon. Focus on my face. We're currently pulled over on the side of the road. Not that we're pulled over, but we're on the side of the road because when I went into the gas station where my grandpa and the Native American was in the front, um, I was really focused on getting money out of the ATM. So when I got done using the restroom, I left my phone like I always do because I'm stupid and I leave my phone everywhere. I left my phone in the stall and like I, I noticed it like right when I got to my car, we just went straight to the car. So I noticed it and so I went right in and the people that like had went in as I was going out were still in there. So I was like, hey, do you guys have my phone? Because it wasn't in the stall. And they said no, and so I was like, okay, that's weird. So I went out and turned the tracking on, on Doobie's phone, because we track each other, because <laughs> we're weird. And we tracked it going around the gas station, so we kind of waited in the car, then we tracked it as it's coming out of the gas station, it went to a certain car. So we went and asked him, do you have the phone? Same people. And they're like, no. So we followed them, and as it was going out of the parking lot, it still tracked them. They turned the phone off, and, um, we called the police and so now we're sitting here waiting to find out if our phone's in the car or if they've maybe thrown it out. I don't know. They're searching it. I hope they have my phone. This is going to be a sad day if they don't. Okay. Hello, people. Oh, it's pretty good right now. Hey. Um, so, yeah, we've had, we just now got, where are we? I need this. Hold on. It's, it's, what is it telling me today? Oh, gosh. Um, we are in Miami. We're don't in Miami. Show them that awesome old Arby sign. Oh, sweet. Um, so we're in Miami, Oklahoma, which is spelled Miami, but it's pronounced Miami because? It's Native American. Yep, it's Native American. It's a tribe. So, Jesse kind of talked a little bit about it and we didn't want to show like officers and all that stuff. We want to be respectful to the process, but we called the cops on someone who we thought had stolen Jesse's phone out of a bathroom stall where she had left it. And we will give you our reasons for calling the cops. They unfortunately did not find the phone on the people, but they're going to jail for other stuff. Let's get into the reasons why we called the cops. And I apologize immensely for if they didn't actually have the, the uh... They had the phone. Let me tell you how they had They had the phone. They had to have had the phone because Jesse and I have location sharing on our phone. So I can go into the text messages, I can go into info, and I can pinpoint where she is if I ever need to know if she's not responding or something else like that. Like if I get kidnapped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we have location sharing on. We we were tracking the phone and we were sitting out in the parking lot. We were like waiting for it because we kept calling it just to make sure it wasn't off or anything. Before you continue that, can I tell you the, what happened before that fact? What? Can I tell you what happened before that fact? What do you mean? We as we walked out and that, we, I was coming out of the, where the restroom. Area, oh yeah, yeah, they yeah, were yeah. Walking yeah. in, they were the people that went into the restroom. Went into the restroom and came out of the same stall you were previously yeah, in. I, I saw her coming out of the stall, so I knew it was the stall I'd left it in because I knew I set it down because I set the, the eldest stuff down because you know, I gotta pull my pants down a piece. And um, she, I asked her blatantly, as she came out of the stall, did you just see a phone in there? And she said no. So that's when we went out to track the phone. Okay, so yeah, then that's when we started tracking the phone. I called it, I guess whoever had it put it on silent because it wasn't before. And uh, I kept calling and calling it. And so I went, we went out to the car, we waited, and we see the tracker coming towards us. It is the group of people who we originally thought was had stolen the phone. And so we see the dot moving closer and closer towards us. Well, guess what? Their car's right next to ours. So anyways, I go up and ask them politely, like, hey, did you guys mistakenly pick up a phone? Did you guys see a phone in the women's restroom? All of them say no. One of them had an attitude. I like, I don't know how to describe it, but they, they, they didn't seem very forthright. And so what we did was we waited. They started to pull out and the tracking continued. Oh shit, you can't even see me. Oh God, you don't have lights in your car. No, you just, you just do it. Oh, there you go. Okay, so much better. And, um, and, uh, can I reflect? Like yeah, that. let's reflect some whiteness. Um, and, uh, so anyways, 
We call the cops on this car who we're pretty darn sure. We would, we don't just call the cops, but we're pretty sure that this person had the phone and they still do somewhere in the car. The cops just weren't able to find it, whether it's tucked or in. Or they threw it because they had time to throw it out. Or, yeah, or they threw it because we were following them and I'm blind, so like I can't, I couldn't have seen if they had done it. And I don't know if Jesse was paying attention. I'm sure they called so they could have thrown the phone and it's just sitting on the side of the road. Because we were following them. Like they, yeah, they we were. were. Like, oh God. So anyways, the phone is off now. And the last place the location was, was in the parking lot of the place where we were, where we lost it. So anyways, we called the cops. This person, they get pulled over. This person, one of the people in the car is a parolee. So he's, not, he's on parole, which means... I, what what can you not do? Obviously, yeah, you, can't you can't have you, you can't, have you can't drink. I think you can't drink. Is that is that one hundred percent? Okay, drugs. you can't drink. You can't have drugs, and you can't have firearms. Well, guess what? They had two out of those three. They had a bunch of well, I don't know if it's a bunch of drugs, but they had a bunch of pot, which is hugely illegal in the state of Oklahoma. And then they had um, a firearm. I guess a loaded firearm, which loaded. is the which is the biggest no-no. Which is also why were we following them if they had a loaded firearm? Yeah, yeah, scary. yeah. So we don't have any firearms. They have firearms. Thank God we called the cops and didn't try to like take matters into our own hands and be like, look, I know you have my phone. Give me the phone. And then all of a sudden it's like bang, bang. And I'm fucking on the parking lot ground yeah. bleeding out while Jesse's in all, all, all over stupid phone, right? But at the same time, if you had the phone, why wouldn't you just give it up? Because you're risking your parole on us calling the cops. Because we can't search you, but the cops can pull you over and search. And if they didn't have marijuana or a gun and they were innocent, they would have just gone about their way. It would have been like, hey, sorry guys, we, we thought we tracked you with the phone. But Had they have just handed me the phone whenever we asked and been like, oh yeah, I was in the store or whatever, I would have taken it and not said a word. I'd have been fine with it. I would not have been mad about it. Yeah. I really thank God I can go with my day. Um, and you know what's a funny story my dad just told me is how bad it is. is his, his boss's son left his iPad in the food court at the mall and they went up to where it was and they saw a guy sitting there and they were like, hey, did you happen to see the uh, iPad sitting here? And he's like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. And so they did the same thing, but they had to find my iPad and the guy hadn't turned it off and he goes, well, I'm sitting right here and it shows the iPad to be right here. And so the guy finally was like, oh, this iPad? He would have just taken oh, it. Oh, wow. He blatantly said no. So people just don't understand that you have tracking on this stuff anymore. Yeah. So anyways, so now for, I think both of our phones, we're gonna get separate uh, standalone GPS units and we're gonna make sure we Adhere, adhere them to the back of the phone so that I don't know whether you can see it or not But it'll be maybe a deterrent for somebody to steal the phone because we're gonna be able to track your every move So anyways, I'm gonna get my CHL uh, which is a concealed handgun license so that when I do track it down If you try to shoot me, I at least have a chance to shoot you back, right? Yeah, because after this whole idea of this guy who's a parolee has a loaded gun He's dumb enough to have one that makes me scared enough to make me want to go get one because some guy who's illegally not supposed to have one by law the law did not stop him from possessing a gun yeah it didn't anyways yeah, it didn't. let's not get too far into that discussion no yeah you're getting crazy over here but <laughs> you're getting a little intense that's that's the way i feel about it so anyways i think we can we can do two things i think we i think we made the right call by letting the police <laughs> figure it out which sucks for them because they're now all in jail right now and then two um I'm gonna own my own gun. Don't be a stupid blonde and leave your phone oh, also, in a cell to give a person an opportunity to steal it. Yeah, don't That's leave your in. phone in the bathroom stall. The bathroom stall. In the end, it's my fault, but they could have just given it to me, and it would have we would have had a problem. So it's sad, and I don't have my out of it. Like they, I feel like they threw my phone out. They, the tracking is now off on it, so they turned it off or they threw it out. So I don't have my phone, and now I got to go pay like $800 to get another phone, which is also frustrating. We don't want to show where we are, right? Yeah, we can show where we are. I think, well, actually, maybe someone might show up tomorrow, so let's not show where we yeah, are. Yeah, let's not show where we are tonight, but we'll let you know where we were staying tomorrow, mm -hmm. no, someday, where we were yeah, last said, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah, like, yeah. by the time tomorrow is this one, we'll be on our way out. Um, no, just keep going. Okay. Um, but anyways, thanks, guys, for watching. I, I, should we call it there? Or yeah, keep going? Yeah, I think that's going to be it for tonight. I think that's yeah, going to think... be too much of a day. It's not much footage, but it is, we've had, we've had quite the stressful day and we didn't want to, we wanted to respect everybody until the whole incident was over and not just start 
uh, showing cop cars and like humiliating people's faces and stuff like that. We wanted to be at least courteous, I guess. But well, at least Even we, if they did still, I don't want to show their face. We also that. wanted to clear up why the hell we weren't really filming much. Yeah. So such a Ma maybe we'll maybe we'll do more after this. Yeah, we'll see. If we get with my mom and we're having a good time, maybe we'll go. And I might save this for the last part of the video. And then fit in later stuff if mom wants to do anything. Problem is, like, we're probably going to go gambling and stuff, and we can't record any of that. Yeah. You can't record anything on... on... We're in Oklahoma! Can well, I go gambling not... after I just lost $800? Oh, yeah, maybe you can win your phone back. Oh. Maybe they have an iPhone, like, vending machine where you can just, like, randomly win. It's like a iPhone slot machine. I just bought that new phone case, too. Like, come Literally, on. Literally, you bought it yesterday. Last yesterday. night. Yesterday. Okay, well, I'm gonna say that's it for now.